Hello and welcome to this first episode of Hangar 14. I thought it would be a good idea to start right at the beginning with how our kits are laid out, uh, the paperwork that comes with your kit and also the recommended tools and the building sequence. The KFA kits are divided into six sub kits. These are the engine kit or firewall forward, the landing gear kit, the fuselage kit, the covering kit, the finishing kit and the wing kit. All KFA kits are supplied with a pack list and that pack list is essential for your building. Uh, the pack list is a good reference for where parts fit in your aeroplane. So if you look at your pack list and you look at the landing gear section for instance, in that section you can find some part numbers and then you can go to the construction manual and you can actually see where these parts fit in your kit. So those two go hand in hand. Very importantly is the general construction manual which is the first manual that you should read. This is especially important for first time builders as this manual which has all the required information regarding tooling, your workshop setup, your build sequence and so on and also just general uh, aviation practices for the first time builders. Please do not modify that kit of yours. The kit is approved by CAA in South Africa with a specific build standard. We've put it through a certification process initially so that you don't have to do that. If there is something you really want to do, something new, something exciting, please contact me and we, see, we will see how we can assist you with that process. Okay guys, lastly I'd just like to touch on uh, three basic tools which I think are essential for your build. So the first one is going to be a Clico plier. And for those who don't know, these are temporary rivets, they're called Clicos. And you're going to need the Clico plier to install this in the hole where in future or later on in your build, you'll replace that with a rivet nut or a rivet. So for the Clicos, you're going to be needing two sizes, a 1 8 and a 532. Uh, for the 532s, you're going to need approximately 15 to 20 of them. These are for the 4 millimeter holes. And the 1 8 you're going to need approximately 30 to 50 of them. 30 minimum and I'd recommend 50. And these are used in the place of a 3.2 millimeter rivet. Right, so the next one is your riv nut tool. Unfortunately I don't have a sample with me. But this is a riv nut. And they are the nut end of your bolts. And you're going to be using these in a couple of places non-structural so these will be for your cowlings and your boot cowl and maybe your turtle deck and so on. Uh, they, the rivet nut tool comes with a set of mandrels from uh, 4 millimeter to I think 8 millimeter. You're going to need a 4 and a 6 millimeter. Next up is a swaging tool. This tool is used to crimp uh, the Nyko press sleeves on the rudder cables. If you don't have one, you're definitely going to need one, either borrow one or buy one. They are available from Aircraft Spruce, uh, eBay and I'm sure uh, some other aviation places will be selling these. And that's about it. Uh, I think this is now enough of all the paperwork. Let's just dive into this airplane behind me and let's start the build. I'll see you on the next one. 